In this video, we're gonna dive into the world of UGC, user-generated content, and how you can make money through content creation without an audience. What is UGC? Does your audience size matter? How to build your portfolio and how to find UGC work? These are all questions I had two years ago when I started my UGC journey. And since then, I've been creating a consistent side income through UGC content creation. What are you doing? That's, what, why? Through UGC content creation, I'm gonna dive into all these questions in this video and explain them to you. So what is UGC? UGC is described as organic brand specific content created by customers or users. To give a really high level explanation, UGC is basically advertisements for a brand, a product, a purpose created by consumers and customers of the brand. It's also content created for brands by influencers or content creators who wouldn't necessarily have bought the product themselves, but they may have been sent the product by the brand to create some content around it in exchange for a free product and maybe some monetary gain. And that's where we come in. Now, the key thing about UGC content is that it's created by customers and consumers. So it's created by people that have used the product. UGC isn't about telling new people that the product exists. It's about explaining your experience with the product. It's more like a video testimonial than it is an advert saying, hey, look at this product. So instead of telling you this water bottle exists, I'm telling you this is a fantastic water bottle. I use it every day of my life. I have my protein shakes in this, I have my creatine drinks in it, and I just drink water out of it. That's the difference between UGC content and an advert. In effect, it is advertising the product, but it's based on your experience with the product, not that this product exists. So UGC content is content created by consumers and customers of the product, or what's becoming more popular, influencers and content creators being sent a product and asked to create a UGC piece of content around it for monetary gain or a free product. Does the size of your audience matter? In this case, yes and no, but mainly no. There are two types of UGC content. There is UGC content that you have created for the brand to post on their socials, to push as their advertisements on social media and sponsored posts and everything like that. And then the other side of UGC is content that you've created to be posted on your platform. This is mainly for influencers, big personalities, people with big personal brands already established. The side of UGC that I'll be focusing on because it's what I focus on is the side of UGC where I'm creating content for brands. I don't create UGC content to post on my own platforms other than a few select examples and I'll explain those shortly. Because you're creating the content to go onto someone else's platform, your audience size doesn't matter. It's the output of your work that matters here, not your audience size because it's not being pushed to your audience, it's being pushed to the brand's audience. Side note, if you'd like some more information on the other side of it, if you're an influencer, if you're a content creator with a big personal brand and a big audience already built up and you'd like to know more about that side of UGC, let me know in the comments below because I'll happily dive into that. The only times I create UGC content for brands to go onto my own platform is when I'm portfolio building. There are a few brands out there that I really want to work with and I'm already a consumer of their product. I own their products already. So I've in the past created content about their products, user generated content, telling the audience how much I love it and why I love it genuinely from the heart because I do and post it on my own social medias. Hello. Now the benefit of me doing this is I'm creating portfolio. I'm creating examples of user generated content that I can then put forward and show to other brands. Hello. Hello. Get your ass out the camera. Get your ass out the front. Don't say hello. To be open and transparent, an example of this is I created some content for Wandered, a camera bag company that I absolutely love, and I've used their camera bags for years. I created some UGC content about one of their bags, my favorite bag, because I have used it for so long and I love it. I then uploaded that onto my own socials and tagged them in it. I've done this enough times over the years that I've got their attention and I've opened up a dialogue between us. So when I reached out to them and said, hey, I'd like to work with you on X, Y, and Z, they were more open to doing so and we've actually done a few projects together since. For me, that's the only time that I will create content for a brand and then upload it onto my own socials. Is it's a brand that I wanna work with or it's a brand that I am genuinely passionate about. Because as we're gonna go into in a minute, you can create UGC content for brands that you're not genuinely passionate about. 
So that brings us nicely into the next section of how to build your portfolio. Although you could absolutely get started with UGC content without any prior portfolio, it's not really recommended and it's gonna make your life a lot harder for the sake of what would take you half a day's work to put together a solid amount of work. Now the absolute best way to create a portfolio of UGC content is to create it with stuff you've already got and specifically products that you absolutely love. Stuff that you're passionate about and that you can talk about. UGC content is for the most part short form. We're looking at 15 to 45, maybe 60 seconds per piece of content. We're talking high level points and maybe a little bit of detail on key information. So let's take the Wandered bag for example. The Wandered Provoke is my favorite backpack and it's a bag that I've had for six years now. Now the key pieces of that for me are the fact it's a camera bag and it comes traveling with me. In longer form piece of content on my YouTube channel, I've gone into detail about why I like the bag, about all the different compartments, all the pockets, the durability, where I've taken it. Everything like that, I've gone into detail on there. But for the most part, UGC content is a bit short form. So I don't wanna go into detail. I wanna just say, loads of compartments, durable, waterproof. You wanna go into the high level points. So to create your portfolio, and this will take you half a day, pick two or three different products that you absolutely love. And you're gonna create 15 to 45 second pieces of content around them. Now there's three key things to include when you're creating your piece of UGC content. When you work with brands to create content, they may give you a bit of a brief and tell you exactly what they want covered in it. A sports drink might really want you to highlight the fact that it's hydrating and they might want to show a fast paced action scene of someone sprinting down the track, swimming in a pool, getting out, having a drink. Brands may give you specific briefs like this, or they may give you just free roam to do it. But for your portfolio building pieces, we're gonna focus on three key things to be demonstrated in each piece. Number one is why you love the product. We're building this portfolio of products that we love and we already have. What is it that you love about the product? For me, the Wanda Provoke, I love that it's comfortable. It sits well on my back. So I'm gonna talk about why I love it, the fact that it's comfortable and that it sits well on my back. And I'm gonna show key shots of the padding, of me wearing it, of me walking down the road with it, me traveling with it. Mainly through the footage, but you can also do this in the voiceover depending on what the product is. You're gonna show it in use. Again, the bag, I'm gonna show multiple clips of me wearing it, of me swinging it around and opening up the camera compartment, of me laying it down and opening up the clamshell to access my stuff. You wanna show it in use in its intended use case. And if you can talk about it in a voiceover or while you're doing so, then talk about it. And the third thing is you're gonna show why it stands out. What makes this bag different from every other bag on the market? Is it the unique design? Is it the material? Is it the comfort level? Perhaps it is a sports drink. What makes that drink stand out? Armed with these three prompts, you can go forward and you can create content and you can create multiple pieces of content about multiple items that you use every day and you love. My recommendation for you to start, and you can do this in half a day as I say, is pick three items and create two pieces per item and try and have different talking points in each one. This will give you six really good pieces of content that you can use as your portfolio. How you present your portfolio to brands is up to you. You could upload these to a Google Drive or a Dropbox Drive and share the link. You could post them on social media to show your portfolio or you can send it to brands directly. But that's how you get started building your portfolio. Create these pieces of content around items that you already have and love. And once you've got this portfolio, we can then start to build that out with actual work you've got from brands. And finally, let's make some money. That was my attempt at the uh, like money face emoji on the iPhone. It didn't really come out as well as I was hoping it would. So you now know what user generated content is and you've built your portfolio. How do we start making some money? There are so many ways that you could make money with this, but we're gonna focus on two. Direct brand outreach and UGC platforms. Now direct brand outreach is like what I did with Wandered. I created some content around the brand because I absolutely loved it. I shared it on my socials and I actually put it forward and sent it to Wander themselves. Now what I did with Wandered was I created some content and I uploaded it on my socials, but you don't have to directly upload it for free. What you can do is you can reach out to brands and say, hey, I'm a massive fan of your brand and I've actually created some UGC pieces about your brand. Would you like to buy the rights to upload these? The brands can then review the work you've done. If they're great pieces of content and they're a brand that's in the market for UGC, they may well reach out and say, hey, yeah, let's, we'll send you X amount and we'd like to upload these to our socials. If you're going to do this, I would do a bit of research into the brand beforehand and make sure the content you're creating aligns with the content they're already uploading. 
and make sure they are actually uploading UGC content and using UGC. Now, if they're not already using UGC, that is an opportunity there for you to get in with them. You could get in with them and become their UGC creator, but you're gonna need to showcase to them why UGC is a good thing. And although it absolutely is, and so many brands are using UGC nowadays, some just might not get it to start with. Now, there's only so many brands that you've already got products for that you can reach out to and create content around. And in that example, that requires you putting in the work beforehand and then hoping to get something out of it. Now, although you absolutely could reach out to brands beforehand and put forward the idea to create UGC content for them, it's often easier to sell this to them when you've already got something to show for it. Arguably, that's where your portfolio comes in and you can say, look, this is what I've done for other brands. We could work together on this. Ultimately, there's a lot more effort on your end to get the work. So an alternative to this is UGC platforms. UGC platforms are basically the middleman. Brands will upload briefs and projects onto the platform in which creators can sign up to as well and they can apply to be part of different campaigns and different projects. Typically, this does mean that you're gonna end up applying to campaigns for products that you may have never used before, but in all honesty, they don't care. So as long as you're happy to create content about a product that you've actually never used before, this is a good way forward. And this is actually how I've made the majority of my UGC income over the last two years. Recently, I did an advert for some alcoholic jelly shots. I had never even heard of these jelly shots before, but they actually sounded like a really cool product when I read the brief and I was like, yeah, go on in. So I applied, I got the campaign, and I was sent a box of these jelly shots. In the brief, they said they wanted lots of smiles, they wanted the shots being taken, they wanted the shots being wiggled to show that they're jelly, and they wanted close-ups. So I sat down and with some help, I put together a little 15 second UGC piece of content, me talking about how they're gluten-free, they're only 40 calories per shot, and they're alcoholic. And genuinely, we had loads of fun filming it, so there were lots of smiles and it was lots of fun. And we created this 15 second piece of UGC content for these jelly shots. The platform you've signed up to will take a cut of the payment. The platform I'm on, which is called useclip.com, they show you the amount that you will be paid and the fact that you get a free product. So they don't say, oh, you're gonna get 75 pounds, but then when it actually comes to being paid, you only get 50 pounds. They've already taken their cut beforehand. So when I apply for a campaign, I can see exactly how much I'm gonna get paid for doing so. Platforms like this are where I make the most of my UGC content income but especially for new UGC creators platforms like this like clip is what I use are really good for getting that work so there we go there is your introduction to the art of UGC this that is how to monetize your content creation without an audience this is a topic that I'm very passionate about and I've I've, well, I've done UGC work for over two years now I've got a lot to talk about on this and I think I'm gonna dive into this a lot more so if you're interested in seeing more about UGC comment it below and comment what you want to know. Currently in my head, I'm thinking we dive into how to create good content. Like I'll bring you on a walk through how I create a piece of content. More directly on how to work with brands specifically and also platforms. How to edit con UGC content and how to best market yourself. Like I, There's so many routes we can go down and so much I can talk about around this subject. So let me know what you want to see and what you want to see next. Because I'm thinking we dive into this. But that is it for now. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please drop a thumbs up down below because it will massively help me out. It will push this to other people looking for the same sort of thing. If you aren't already, subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to take the shot. Peace.